hello guys welcome to another exciting tutorial today i'm going to show you how to render this jug to look very realistic like a steel jug and um if you've not um if you've not worked with maya or uh, if you've not subscribed to this channel i believe you will want to do so but before you can be able to follow along with what i'm about to do there are two things you need to do first you need to know how to model a jog like this now if you don't kindly click on the upper left hand side of the screen where it says how to model a jog there will get you to the video that will teach you how to model this jog now secondly you need to know how to set up a studio like this uh, a render studio like this and light it up the way i've done so in maya but if you don't know how to do this also click on the right hand section of the screen where it says learn how to set up a realistic studio in maya so by the time you've done these two things you'll be able to follow along with what i'm about to do kindly do that if you've done that let's now move on to the real tutorial of today now i've set up this i'm gonna go over it a little bit i have all this plane with a surface shader which the color is white so this is where i have the surface shader i just made them white throughout okay then i have a sphere with the same surface shader i have another one surface shader then i have this four over here with surface shader then i have this backdrop that i have yet and um, i have this um, ambient light you can see is having an ambient shade of one then um, 0.1 ambient shiny light then i also have a point light here which i have used which i have used um um depth mark shadows and also a linear then intensity of 10. so those are the things i did i also I manipulated the settings of this so that it doesn't reflect on the object so that is the more reason why I said you must look out for the other tutorial on how to set up uh, a real studio for your product shot in Maya so if you've not done that I've already um, explained that initially on what you should do I will also put a link in the description box below um, where you can see the prerequisite tutorials to watch before you'll be able to follow along perfectly with this one i'm about to do i have this jug and you can see there is no texture to it and uh, if we render it now you are gonna see what we have all right so you can see there is no texture to the jug we are just having the light casting a little bit of shadow here which is not bad so i'm gonna just keep this image let's zoom this out a little bit now we want to texture this i want to use a blink texture so i'll just select it and click on blink then i want the color to be black because i want this to look like real steel then i want to re increase the reflectivity then increase the specular for the eccentricity i'm going to bring that down and increase the surface roll off somewhere there i'm also going to increase the trans Lucency focus and increase the translucency depth like that okay so by the time with that settings if we render this now okay you can see we are beginning to see how this is gonna look like but it's not looking like still yet so we are going to keep this image in order to make this look like a real still i'm going to reduce the rendering resolution so that it doesn't take too long to render now what we need to do is to um create an image based light that will actually cast a lot of reflection on the jug so to do that just come over to indirect lighting then image based light click then go to your image name i have some hd high density range images here that you can use i will also put a link in the description box of where you can download it directly okay so uh, what i'm going to do is to pick one of them here 
so let's just go ahead and pick one so i have this warehouse i have this sky then i have this sky blue the photo studio and this open then we also have this one let's use this uh, new hdri 001 so i'll just click on it so automatically i have it here so with this now by the time we render it let's just position this very well and click on render all right so you can see pretty much easy to have a very realistic still because what has happened is because this surface shader is having a a, a high reflective capability was able to um, reflect the hdrmi image that we've added in the background so i believe you've learned something today but before i go i also want to show you one other thing in case you don't want this to appear you can just select it go to your render start and turn off primary visibility so with that we can come over to our render settings then load production okay then we come to the common tab and make it hd 1080 so that we have a full render of this all right so let's just hold on for this to render finally okay so guys you can see it's, it's very easy to create a realistic steel jug inside of my hand render it to look very realistic i believe you've learned something today in this tutorial a lot of things like these simple tricks and tips that is so vital in the production industry will be throwing them out for you just make sure you keep on watching and if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly do so leave your comment in the description box thumbs up for this video if you like it and um, don't forget to share it it will do us a whole lot of good thank you for watching guys i will see you later